the transport sector in India is responsible for 12% of the total GHG emissions. Transportation by roadways contributes to 94% of these emissions, while railways emit 6% by comparison. Roadways are the primary mode for transporting freight in India, with 78% of all freight sent in road vehicles. Remaining 22% of the freight is transported through railways. Roadways are also the primary mode of passenger transportation, with 94% of passengers travelling by road, compared to only 6% of passengers travelling on trains. There are currently 253 million vehicles on India's roads, 74% of which are two-wheelers, 13% are cars, jeeps and taxis, and 13% comprising other vehicles. Indian Railways has 12,147 locomotive units, of which 49.88% are electric, 50% are diesel, and 0.32% are steam. As of 2016, India's roads spread across 56.3 lakh kilometers, out of which 62% are surface roads. India's railway network is one of the largest in the world at 67,415 kilometers of route length. 62,891 kilometers of this span is covered by broad gauge. 2,839 kilometers by meter gauge and 1,685 kilometers by narrow gauge. Fuel consumption in the road sector at 106 million tons has seen a 77% increase in the last 10 years. Railways, which comparatively use less fuel, have seen rail electrification grow by a steep 68% between 2011 and 2020. Costs of road transportation at 2.58 rupees per ton kilometer is two times that of railways at 1.41 rupees per ton kilometer. Increase in population, rural to urban migration and changing consumer lifestyles show an increase in pressure on transportation which is projected to grow six folds by 2050. Roadways inflict massive environmental costs due to clearing of forests and tree cover, conversion of agricultural land, and the use of extractive materials for road construction. A modal shift from roadways to railways can significantly reduce India's total emissions by 2050. If 15% of passenger and 36% freight transport were to shift from road to rail, a reduction of 31.54 billion tonnes of GHG emissions would be achieved. If 20% passenger and 45% freight transport were to shift from road to rail, a further reduction of 113.41 billion tonnes of GHG emissions would be possible. Enabling this model shift will require a few interventions such as ensuring robust measurement, reporting and verification mechanism to track the ton per kilometre model shift and emissions reduction, making use of technology innovation and available digital platforms for data exchange and analysis, setting up of collaborative institutional structures to enable seamless exchange of information and finally changing user behavior to shift user preference away from road transport and towards railways.